India's urban rail, sometimes referred to as Metro Rail, has experienced significant growth in recent years. Let us look at the general functioning and electromechanical aspects of a Metro Rail system. The seven primary electromechanical engineering aspects of Metro Rail's system include number one, rolling stock. Two, train operational plan. Three, traction system. Four, signaling and transmission system. Five, substations and power supply. Six, ventilation, air conditioning, HVAC. And number seven, maintenance depot. Welcome to the module lubrication in Metro Railways. In this module, we will understand the following. First, what is rolling stock and types of rolling stock? Second, rolling stock components and lubrication that are used on each system. Third, three lubricants developed by IOC for Metro Rail. Let us begin by understanding rolling stock. The entire metro rail with the main operating body and its wheel set comprises the rolling stock. Understanding the difference between a rake and a bogey. Rake. Generally, the train itself is termed as rake. Bogey. A bogey is a chassis or framework that carries a wheel set attached to a vehicle. It is a modular sub-assembly of wheels and axles. Constituents of rake. Generally, a rake is of three types. The driving coach or driving motor coach, DMC, trailer coach, TC, or motor coach, MC. The three units are attached in a specific sequence to create the rake. The arrangement and the number of coaches are defined based on the population density traversing in a given period of time from one place to another. This in turn also determines the length of the rake. Moving ahead to understand components and lubrication requirements of the rolling stock. Number 1. Bogey and Driving Gear Unit The bogey is a bolsterless type bogey. The traction motor and the driving gear are mechanically connected by a flexible gear coupling through which the torque is transmitted to the power motor axle. Half couplings used are of two types. A. Oil type B. Grease type Now let us look in application of lubricants in various components of bogey. Oil used in drive gear Oil for half coupling between motor and drive gear Grease used for half coupling Used for axle bearing overhauling Used in axle box bearing used in bearing mounting, for axle during axle bearing mounting and wheel mounting. Second, door, passenger saloon door. The passenger saloon door are electrical sliding doors fitted in both the driver and motor bogies. Lubrication is applied on the different door components as grease used on saloon door spindle shaft, used on saloon door center hook, used on solenoid of saloon door, hanging device, grease used on lever, latch, pin in saloon door, door lock grease. Number 3. Propulsion system. Traction in general has two main parts. The first being the conductor that supplies the electric power supply and the other being the pantograph or similar structure for retrieving the electric power from the conductors. Propulsion system consists of Master controller which is located in the driver's cab Converter or inverter unit converts DC power to three-phase AC supply power and feeds it to the traction motors of the car for the desired motoring and braking demands generated by the train operator. Pantograph is an apparatus mounted on the roof of an electric train to collect power through an overhead tension wire. 
it is a common type of current collector. Typically, a single wire is used with the return current running through the track. The components of Overhead Cantinary System or OCS include Cantinary wire Contact wire Droppers Lubrication for the propulsion system applied as Used on gear of master controller Used for bearing of traction motor Coating thin insulated layer on foot insulator of pantograph Used as conductive grease on shunt wire of pantograph Pantograph moving parts and bearings Contactal HV contacts grease HVAC Heating, ventilation and air conditioning Lubrication is applied on the air conditioning system components as Refrigeration oil for HVAC compressor Number 4 Earth ground switch Lubrication is applied as grease for VCB Vacuum circuit breaker and EGS Moving contacts Number 5. Line Circuit Breaker Lubrication is applied on the guide pin and the spring lubrication compression spring. Solenoid valve, insulation of O-ring. Number 6. Coupler Lubrication is applied as the hollow space between screws and bores on lower muff of muff couplings on coupler. Coupler pin head, coupler mounting bolts during replacement as anti-seize grease, coupler grease, tubes. Number 1. WFL Wheel Flange Lubrication The solid stick type FLU system is designed to apply small quantities of special solid material, LCF solid lubricant, with a low coefficient of friction. Hereafter, LCF onto the flange of a wheel set. As the wheel set rotates, this LCF material will be deposited onto the corner of the rail head. This will then act as a lubricant for all the vehicles that pass over the rail. Products of this type are used to reduce wheel flange, wear and rail gauge corner wear. Now let us have a look on lubricants developed by IOCL for Metro Rail. Based on the applications and different components of Metro Rail, Lubricants developed by Indian Oil are Servo Sin Gear 75W to 90LL Servo Sin Gear Plus 75W90 Servo Gem Series Servo Gem RR3 Servo Plex SHC120 Servo Grease Molex Servo Gem EP Series Servo Grease Miracle Series So far we have understood that First, Metro Rail rolling equipment includes trailer carriages, wagons or rakes that run on rail tracks. Second, each rolling stock has electromechanical mobile parts. These parts need a good lubrication system for smooth operation and less wear. Third, Indian Oil Servo leads the automotive and industrial lubricant markets. Servo has researched and developed lubrication oils and greases for various applications in Metro Rail. Thank you for watching.